Uh, tonight I've been joined by Warren Coates from the Northern Ireland Paranormal Research Association and we sent Warren on a little uh, travel around the City Beta building here on the Ormer Road which uh, used to be an old church to see if there's any kind of paranormal activity. Warren, you're back with us. Mm-hmm. What did you find? Uh, a couple of things, Robin. Now, there's a few sort of things that came to us whenever I walked around. I had a good walk around the building down to the bottom and then up to the top floor and then towards the kitchen and all at the back. At the bottom floor, just sort of when you come in the building and go left, I picked up on a gentleman. Now, he's quite badly burnt. Now, from what I was picking up, there has been a fire, a fire in this building at some stage. Now, obviously, I don't know the history of it. We'd like to sort of look back and research the history of it and try and find out. To me, this guy looks as if he's been grounded here. Mm-hmm. So as there's stuff, and I there were, um, didn't get a name for him, didn't get anything, but he was quite. I would say people walking through that area would be quite aware of him, maybe on a subconscious level, but they would pick up on him. Two names I picked up upstairs. Now again, walking through one of the rooms, you do feel very when you walk in, you feel very sort of very uptight in one of the rooms. Now there's a load of computers in the room. Now it could be sort of, it could be just a, a magnetic fields given off by the computers. It could be a thing called infrasound, which people pick up on a subconscious level as well, but. What I did pick up on was two names. Now, one was Sharon Moore and the other name was John McComb. Okay. Now, them two names, they're they're not grounded here. They seem to be in visitation. But again, what I would say to them is they're probably maybe once it's been here, it's sort of coming when the the place was a church. Mm -hmm. But I think this place has got a lot more history. Than yeah. Sort of than what we know, so it'll be very, very interesting. Again, there's nothing, there's nothing what I'm saying here that's going to spook people out. You know, it's not going to sort of possess people when they're going home at nights or anything yes, like that. Yeah. You know, but there is definitely a few energies in the building. The one downstairs would concern me. You know, obviously if he's grounded here. It's it's what what our sort of groups here for yeah. is to do something to help out spirit energy actually move on to where it should be. Now it was strange as well. Jerry, who was with us, was telling us that he remembers a fire in this old right, yeah. church building and something weird happened to Jerry when I was interviewing him there. That's correct, yeah. Could that be to do with the spirits in, in this building? It could well be, Robin. Now, one of the things is people will pick up on spirit energy on, in different ways, so especially when they're just sort of tuning into it. And obviously with, with Jerry kind of the sort of uh, character the way he does with Tina, yeah. you know, what he would do, he'd be very, that's the kind of thing we would do with people is we would put them through like a guided meditation and it's basically tuning themselves into the spirit world. Now when he said he been, felt very nauseous and he just felt like he could feel his heart thumping in his chest. Mm-hmm. To me, I would say that's spirit energy. And he's, he's not a, he doesn't look like a scared guy. No, you know, yeah. He's quite a confident guy. But as I say, that would be spirit energy sort of manifesting itself in him, him just being, becoming more sort of aware of the surroundings. And of course, when I was out the front with you there as well, it was like a strange breeze that kind of got colder and colder as we walked along the corridor correct, as well. Yes. That, that yeah. was weird, wasn't it? It is. Definitely, you've got a couple here. I would say there's a couple that's mobile. You know, they're showing an intelligence, what we would call an interactive spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, they're showing our intelligence. They would be sort of, they would be trying to communicate with us. And that's why people hear out of the peripheral vision or something like that there could see movement or maybe could hear the odd voice, could see, hear a man's voice speaking to him or a woman's voice speaking to him. But obviously, again, because you're so preoccupied in what you're doing here, yeah. that would be just... Wouldn't, you just wouldn't really take any notice. It'd be interesting to see if any other sort of people actually work in the building, you know, have had any any sort of things happen to them and what locations they've actually had them happen on.